to my channel so as you can see my hair is half done like you guys see my hair you see my hair I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get easy long full butterfly locks so if you guys want to see how I got this look which this ain't even a final look then just keep on watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the button next to the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, Danny Lene, Snapchat, Danny Pink, and Twitter, Danielle Lene. And let's get into this tutorial. Here is from Deuce Hair. Deuce Hair? It's Deuce or Deuce. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's on Amazon.com. And they sent me this hair. So thank you so much to Deuce or Deuce Hair for sending me these butterfly crochet locks to review so it came inside this pack and what comes in the pack is the crochet hook some lashes these are cute i should have put these on but whatever and then I think. and then six packs of the hair so i used about so this is how the hair looks in the packs so all that comes in one pack so you do not have to go to the store if you order this hair everything is going to be in that pack for you and they also gave me oh, i almost forgot they also gave these cute little clips and of course just make sure you have your own um edge control i used the shining jam edge control right here and yeah i gotta put these clips in when i'm done but yeah all of that comes in the pack so thank you to do say hair for sending me this hair to review so far i'm loving it and y'all my hair is not heavy at all the only part that's um heavy on my head is the back because i had to um i had to use the rubber band method for that back but yeah, I only have two left to do. I need to switch my hair thing. But yeah. So basically, you're going to put your hair in sections as if you're already doing the butterfly locks. So yeah, you're going to basically braid your hair in little squares, triangles, whichever way you want to do it. That's probably the longest process for me was doing that. Take my braided piece. Stick the crochet needle in. Ow. I already got some hair still open because I only need two more. This is how the lock looks. This is how the crochet looks. And I saw other people videos. They were basically saying this loop on their hair that they was using was too small. I feel like this one is a good amount like. I feel like this was a this one is a good amount of space to like get your hair through. But the only thing that I'm not crazy about with this hair is the thickness of the lock. That's my only downfall about it. But I feel like it's not that big of a deal. So I take it, hook it on, close the hook, pull it through. Okay, and pull it through. So try not to make this part, the braided part, too tight. So then, you brought guys probably thinking, oh, how do you not get that big knot at the root? This is what you do. You take it, you stick it through. You stick the end of it through, my bad. Stick it through. And I also bring my actual braid into the hoop too. Well, into the hole. Just like that pull it through so you're pulling the butterfly lock through and your real hair through and then you pulling it down and you pulling it all the way until you don't see any knot right there so see 
you pull it all the way through because sometimes when you stop at a certain point you get that knot no keep pushing it through as long as it don't hurt keep pushing it all the way through just like that so then this is the part that gets a tiny bit difficult but you can do this you can do this okay so then you're gonna take the marley hair push some of it back up of course and you're gonna start at the root right here at the top and pull the push the crochet hook through it you know just like if you've seen a lot of um non-wrapping method for the regular faux locks all that so you just push the hook well push the hook through as best as you can because like i said with this hair this is probably the only thing that i'm not crazy about it's the thickness of this lock so if you're just doing it the regular old-fashioned putting crochets in you ain't gotta worry about none of this but if you're trying to do this method then you're gonna stick the crochet hook through try to stick it as best as you can through the hair but try not to put too much of it in at once so you guys gonna see what i'm saying so i'm halfway through grab the, my hair close it pull it through and then as you can see i still have hair left so i'm gonna grab my hair and pull it down and try to pull that hair up to cover my hair so as you can see this is the rest of my hair still hanging out you don't have to put the whole your whole braid straight through but yeah you don't have to put your whole braid straight through because that's going to make it harder because this hair is thick so it's going to make it harder and don't make your braids too tight i mean too um big either because that's going to make it harder to pull through so this is the rest of my hair right here gonna go through it well stick the crochet hook as best as i can grab my hair and pull it through now i'm not gonna lie some of mine aren't 100 percent perfect but you just keep pushing the hair up if you gotta start over that's fine also but yeah basically trying to cover up my braid so that's what i did of course you can probably see a little bit of my braid but it's not that bad to the point where i need to restart it but as long as for the most part you can't see your hair then i feel like you you're good so see it's that simple that's basically how i did it only con is the thickness of the actual lock like i like the thickness but i wish it was a slight bit less thick in some parts because that'll make it easier to stick the hair through it like this see this is what i'm doing sticking the crochet hook through grabbing my hair pulling it into this that's basically what i'm saying guys hopefully you guys understand that so yeah this is the last one thank you lord grab it pull it through uh, i'm gonna lie some of this some some was a little too tight pull it through well grab the hair stick it through grab my hair pull it through the hole pull it pull it and then most of y'all stop like this no you have to keep pulling your hair to the root to the point you don't see that um hump at the top see because it moves now as long as you keep pushing it until you feel that part like smoothed out that's what i'm saying hopefully you guys understand what i'm saying because i feel like it's kind of hard to explain so i'm pushing the hair back up if some of it like slips down push that back up then i start at the top and i don't have to go through 
I don't have to pull all my hair through at one time. Grab it. Grab your hair, pull it through. See? Then it can be like that. Make sure you see where your hair is going. Grab your hair, pull it. And then you push that hair up at the same time if you can. Just like that until it hides it. And then you take the remaining part, try to get up in there as close as you can. Grab it, you're rare. Oh, grab your hair, pull it through. Just like that. And of course I still got a little bit left. And with, when it's like, with this, the butterfly locks, you can't really 100% see your hair like that because it's supposed to be messy anyway. So that's the best part about this method. And then I just push the braid up. Just like that. And then you cannot see that my hair is up in there. Like, you just can't see it. So yeah, I'm gonna change this headband into like a cuter one because I want pink. I'm wearing pink. Why not have a pink headband? <music> So this hair is 18 inches I got it in two days from Amazon Prime and my hair is lightweight I can style it basically the same way I style regular butterfly locks I was thinking I might cut them because you know I already did a video on short butterfly locks but I was actually doing the whole wrapping method but yeah this is a no wrapping method and you guys can get this hairstyle in literally like one day you ain't got to sit for hours and get your hair done none of that yeah so this is how it looks 18 inches hold on let me stand up that's where it comes on me i will leave everything in the description box for you guys what else what else oh wait let me put my clips on Basically the final look on this easy no wrapping butterfly method i hope that you guys like this video this is relatively easy when you get the catch well when you get the hang of it it's relatively easy so i'm gonna leave everything in the description box thank you to don't say hair for sending me this hair because i love it it's so full and so cute and it's 18 inches so yeah i'm gonna leave everything in the description box make sure that you guys subscribe Follow me on Instagram, Danielle Lene, Snapchat, Danny Pink, Twitter, Danielle Lene. Thumbs up this video, comment on this video. Yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.